Hi, Claude Milan here, affiliate starting line. Welcome. This is the ongoing series on WordPress, and we're going to, this is part number nine. <clears throat> and let's take a look at uh, one last plugin that you should be aware of that you all need. Now, remember, uh, we, we installed some plugins in part eight. You come down here, go to your plugin settings, and you'll notice that uh, we've got several plugins in here. Um, AdSense Manager, I won't worry about right now. Uh, this is allows you to put Google AdSense ads <clears throat> onto your sidebar to monetize your site. Uh, I was experimenting with that, but we'll go into that a little later. A keysmith we already saw. This is a spam, anti-spam software. It comes in by default. <clears throat> Excuse me, by default you can use it. Spam free is another sp uh, anti-spam software, and WordPress Hashcash. We looked at these in the preceding lesson. Uh, Try them out. Pick the one that you're comfortable with. All-in-one SEO pack we already put in. That allows you to do search engine optimization. And the last lesson I did was on Google Analytics. Showed you how to set this up and uh, have your site tracked by Google Analytics. There's one more uh, plugin you need and you should have. And let's take a look. You want to have um, make it easy for the search engines to index your site. And you can do that by getting a sitemap. A sitemap is exactly how the term is, is a, a way for um, you to set up a visual, a way, a visual reference of how your website is organized. It allows search engines to better understand how your what your site is about and and how it's laid out. Google XML sitemaps is the first one that pops up here. This is the one we'll load in. This plugin generates an XML sitemap which will help search engines like Google, Bing, Yahoo, and Ask better index your, your blog or your website. <clears throat> With a sitemap, it's much easier for the crawlers to figure out the complete structure of your site and retrieve it more efficiently. This plugin supports all kinds of WordPress-generated pages, custom URLs. Additionally, it notifies all major search engines of any time you change content. So, as you know, in order to load up a plugin, you click Install Now. It comes in, you activate it, and bingo. We have XML sitemaps here. Now, if you come into the back office of XML sitemaps, um, it will tell you, give you information about what's going on with it. Now, the sitemap wasn't built yet. Click here to build it for the first time, so you want to click it there. Your sitemap was last built. So it's, it's just going to set one up now. Um, and then it'll notify Google, Bing, Ask, etc., that uh, it's created a sitemap for a website. Now you have some basic options that down here. I would, uh, in the beginning, just leave them alone, but these are all the default basic options of how your sitemap is organized and whom it notifies. Um, you know, notify Yahoo about updates. Yeah, I want, I, I'll take that. Should have Yahoo in there. Uh, and then uh, you can go down here and create priorities. You can tell it which pages you want to have indexed. Uh, here it's indexing a home page, the posts. It's not indexing the following pages of multi-page posts. It's, in, it's including the static pages. You can in, in decide if you want to do that. You can include categories, archives, tag pages, author pages. That's up to you. I'll leave it for the default right now. I'll come back in and I'll change it later as we fill out the uh, site. If I want to exclude certain categories, I can do that. Um, this is the frequency with which your sitemap will get updated. And then the priorities of which what you want indexed and, and, and what's most important about your website. And then you click Update Options, and you're good to go. So we've just turned on the, the sitemap. And uh, right now, what that means is we're going to have a way of generating a uh, visual reference and a coded reference of how our site is organized so that the crawlers, when they come in, will have an easier time of understanding and indexing the site. So that's it. This is what you're going to want to do. You're going to come in, to, just to recap, plugins, go up here, type in sitemap. search, pick the one of choice. Google XML sitemap this is the one that I use. It turns out it's right at the top of the list. 
install it and once it's installed you'll find it right here in your list and then you're going to want to come in you'll find most of the uh, plugins you'll find under settings you'll come in under here once again Make sure that you turn it on, check out the basic options, the additional pages, the post priority, location of your sitemap, sitemap content, etc. Set up the parameters, click update options, and you're good to go. So I hope this has been help helpful. This is Claude Ballon with Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.